Ever wondered if your crush feels the same way about you? Sometimes, words aren't the only way to know. In this video, we'll uncover the fascinating world of nonverbal cues that might reveal your crush's feelings. From subtly tilting her head and dilated pupils, to casual physical touches or mimicking your gestures and motions, these signs can speak volumes. Stay tuned as we explore these nonverbal hints that could indicate your crush is interested in you. Understanding these signs might just help you navigate that exciting crush with a little more confidence. Number 10. Tonal voice change. When your crush's tone of voice changes around you, it might be a sign they like you. For instance, if you notice that when they speak to you, their voice becomes softer, gentler, or more cheerful compared to how they talk to others, it could indicate they're interested. They might sound more enthusiastic, giggly, or even a bit nervous when having conversations with you. This change in their tone can show that they're trying to convey their emotions or interest in a way that feels special and different from their usual communication style. It often suggests that they enjoy talking to you and want to make a good impression because they have feelings for you. Nine, her pupils dilate. When your crush's pupils dilate, it might mean they're attracted to you. For example, let's say you're having a conversation with your crush and you notice that their pupils seem larger than usual especially in brighter light. Pupil dilation can happen involuntarily when someone is interested or excited, such as when they're around someone they like. Though it's a subtle sign and could be influenced by various factors, like lighting or mood, dilated pupils can indicate that your crush is feeling a heightened sense of attraction or interest in you. Number eight, she tilts her head. When your crush tilts her head while talking to you, it could be a sign she likes you. For instance, if you're having a conversation and she tilts her head to the side while smiling or listening intently, it often shows she's engaged and interested in what you're saying. This gesture might make her appear more open and attentive, indicating that she enjoys talking with you and wants to connect more deeply. Tilting the head can signal a sense of warmth and friendliness, suggesting that she feels comfortable and interested in building a connection with you. Seven, she appears approachable. When your crush seems approachable around you, it often means she feels comfortable and open in your presence. For example, if she smiles, maintains eye contact, or initiates conversations with you, these are signs she might like you. Approachability is shown through positive body language and a willingness to engage. If she seems relaxed, attentive, and interested in spending time with you, it's likely she enjoys your company and may have feelings for you. Pay attention to these signs as they could indicate that your crush is receptive to getting closer to you. Six, she mimics your gestures and motions. When someone mimics your gestures and motions, it's a sign that they're subconsciously trying to connect with you. For instance, if you lean in and she leans in too, or you notice she starts using similar hand gestures, as you during a conversation, it could mean she's interested. This mirroring behavior shows a level of comfort and a desire to build rapport with you. Pay attention to these subtle cues, as they might indicate that your crush is trying to create a closer connection and may have feelings for you. Number five, jealousy. When your crush gets jealous if they see another girl flirting with you, it often means they have feelings for you. For example, let's say you're talking to someone else and your crush is nearby. If they start acting a bit tense, maybe their smile fades or they seem uneasy watching the interaction. It could be a sign of jealousy they might try to subtly interrupt or join the conversation to show their presence. This reaction often occurs because they care about you and don't want someone else to take your attention away. Jealousy can sometimes reveal deeper feelings of attraction and a desire for a more exclusive connection with you. Four, she gets anxious around you. When your crush gets nervous or anxious around you, it could mean they have feelings for you. For instance, imagine you're talking one-on-one -on -one with your crush and you notice they start fidgeting playing with their hair, or their voice might slightly tremble. They might even blush or find it hard to maintain eye contact. These signs of nervousness can indicate that they're feeling the pressure of wanting to make a good impression because they care about what you think. Sometimes, when someone has a crush, they become a bit jittery or self-conscious because they're hoping to make a positive impression on the person they like. Third, try to sit near or next to you when your crush makes an effort to sit close to you or next to you, it's a clear sign they might have feelings for you. For example, let's say you're in a group setting or a classroom 
and your crush consistently chooses a seat nearby whenever possible, whether it's in a crowded room or during lunch breaks. They might even rearrange their seating or choose a spot that allows them to be closer to you. This deliberate choice in proximity suggests that they enjoy your company and want to be near you, seeking opportunities for more interaction and a chance to get to know you better. 2. She makes casual physical contact. When your crush casually touches you, it's usually a good sign that they're interested in you. For instance, imagine you're talking with your crush and they lightly tap your arm while laughing at something you said or playfully nudging you during a conversation. These small, friendly touches can indicate a desire to create a closer connection and feel more comfortable around you. They might also find excuses to brush against you or give you friendly hugs, hello, or goodbye. While everyone has their own comfort levels with physical contact, these gentle touches often suggest that your crush feels a sense of closeness and fondness towards you. Number one, she keeps looking at you. When your crush keeps looking at you, it's often a strong nonverbal signal that they might be interested in you. For instance, let's say you're in a classroom and whenever something funny happens, you notice your crush's eyes constantly darting in your direction, seeking your reaction. They might quickly glance at you during breaks or steal glances when they think you're not looking. This consistent attention could indicate that they find you captivating or appealing. While it's not a guarantee of romantic interest, Frequent and intentional eye contact often suggests that your crush is intrigued by you and enjoys your presence. These subtle cues, whether through increased communication, deeper conversations, or special gestures, often signify a budding emotional connection. Remember, every person is unique, and these signs may vary in intensity and expression. Keeping an open heart and paying attention to these signals can help you navigate and understand the depth of someone's feelings. However, the best way to truly know how someone feels is through open and honest communication. Embrace these signs as potential indicators, but always remember that genuine and clear communication is key in nurturing any growing relationship.